Hello everyone, can you hear? And today we're back again with another Apex video guide, this time for Werner. Werner is an assassin with very high damage ceiling, decent range, and a gimmicky talent that can force your opponent to play mind games. To go through his talent, when entering battle, attack and crit chance increases by 20%, which is very basic for an assassin. If you have not attacked this turn, you can choose to enter a battle stance for one turn after taking action. Cannot be dispelled, ignores immunity. Strike stance, mobility plus 1 and skill range plus 2, damage increased by 20% and ignores guard. This is basically his attack stance and is his main way of ignoring guard. Next we have repost stance, mobility plus 1, when there are no friendly unit within 2 blocks, unit takes 35% reduced damage and counter attack damage is increased by 50% and can counter ranged attacks. After being attacked and taking damage, restores 35% of HP and ignores guard for 1 turn. So this is basically the mind games that I was referring to just now because if a Werner is in repost stance and you try to hit him especially with mages you will basically explode to his counter attack and you might not even kill him. So next we will go through his skills, his basic skills first. Just Sun Slash, Sun Shape, Sneak Attack, Skill Command, Savage Attack and Blades of Freedom. Out of these skills you will most commonly bring sneak attack as his one cost passive and for his two cost skill you will consider blink bringing blade of freedom if you want to kill something with a passive revive looking at his 3c rending blow it has a passive that increases his crit chance by another 20 percent and his soldiers will join in the hero's range attacks so this means you can just bring melee troops and they will always attack together with your hero it's a physical damage attack that does 1.5 times damage and it ignores unit restriction which means this attack does not suffer from plus disadvantage. If the enemy is killed, the character gains strike stance and the effect after battle. Before entering battle, deals fixed damage equals to 2 times attack, so basically a backstab that works both ways. Otherwise, gains repost stance and lasts 1 turn. This skill is not affected by melee damage penalty. Next is his signature 2 cost skill, double bladed strike. It's a physical damage that attacks, dealing 1 times spell damage and has a 40% chance of attacking twice. If you're in strike stance, this chance becomes 100% and your, your, your unit will attack first. This sentence is wrong. Next, we'll look at his passive. It's when on defensive terrain, after entering battle, deals fixed damage to the enemy equal to 1 times attack and restores 20% of HP after battle. After attacking and entering battle, can move another 3 blocks. So from his skills, you will basically always bring 3 cost skill because this is the passive that allows your soldier to hit with your hero. For his 2 cost skill, it's usually a choice between double bladed strike or blades of freedom as I mentioned just now if you want to kill someone with a passive revive. Savage attack can be a niche skill to bring against specifically Himiko. But because this skill requires defensive terrain, it's very hard to use in actual combat and I would not recommend bringing it as your primary answer to Himiko. For his passive, you will usually bring sneak attack because it does a lot of fixed damage after battle and with this skill you can kill units with 20% HP revives such as Lucretia. This passive can be considered but as with Savage Attack, it's reliant on defensive terrain, so it's not very reliable. But you can consider it on maps that have a lot of terrain, such as Windy Outpost. Next, we'll take a look at Werner's available classes. He has two classes, an Assassin class and an Infantry class. Both of these classes are viable in Apex. The main advantage of the Infantry class is having access to Apex Boots, Eye Shark Armor which I'll explain why later, and having higher base attack and HP. The main strength of the Assassin class is being able to play off his repost stance because Assassins have fast counter attack animation and he has access to EMB and Last Rites, meaning that there are very few units in the game that can actually hit him, kill him and get out alive after that. As for his class mastery stones, we will choose to run a standard assassin set which is attack, HP and skill and in his arena stone we will run double crit along with that. You could opt to run defense or even magic defense in any of those slots but I like my assassins to max out their skill and crit chance.
Next, let's take a look at Werner's available troop selection. Werner actually has a bunch of decent troops that you could bring. Most commonly, you will see him bringing heavy infantry or state guards. Heavy infantry is a balanced troop with high attack and is also his most survivable troop against range attack specifically. State guards has similar high attack and they even ignore enemy's defense, but you will mainly bring state guards if you are worried about fighting cavalry. His ranged troops are actually possible options as well. Firebrands mainly if you want to target a flyer and faceless if you want to maximize your crit chance. But they are much less tankier than heavy infantry and state guards. Next, let's take a look at Werner's available equipment. For infantry Werner, you will most likely run Crystal Stinger, Eyeshot Armor, Fury of Tear, and Apex Boots. Crystal Stinger is run because it offers the most damage, upping your crit damage by 10% and allowing you to ignore 20% of the enemy's defense. If you're running Crystal Stinger, you should max out your skill in your class mastery because it's required to ignore defense. Eyeshot Armor, alongside with Sneak Attack Passive, allows you to kill both lives of Lucretia because Sneak Attack will kill her first revive 20% and Eyeshot Armor will kill her Glory of the World revive, which is 1%. Fury of Tear is the DPS helmet of choice as it offers more skill damage and Red Stocking or Apex Boot offers him mobility. Other alternatives for his weapon would be Mimir's War Axe as it offers more base HP and with the 20% hero damage dealt buff, the damage is actually quite comparable to Crystal Stinger. His bulk option for his armor would be Forbidden Defender's armor, as it has 30% chance to ignore, no, reduce unit damage taken in this battle by 20%. His helmet and apex boots are quite non-negotiable, but if you don't have Fury of Tear, you could just run Aeneas Helm, as it offers 10% HP. For his accessory, other alternatives would be General Attack Accessories or Twilight Star. For Assassin Werner, you would run EMB, Last Rites, a choice between King's Crown or Flower Bone Bonnet, and Twilight Star or SSM. EMB and Last Rites are quite non-negotiable because you want them to play off his Repost Stance as EMB allows you to ignore melee penalty and Last Rites combined with his 35% damage taken reduced from his Repost Stance makes him very very tanky. Now I'll have a mock replay in order to demonstrate how Werner functions and give my opinions on what Werner class to run. First, we'll have Werner enter Repost Stance, we'll teleport him up. And here is the main way to check whether Werner is in Attack or Counter Stance. Take note that you don't always need to check, you only need to check if you're worried that his range after including his bonus skill range is able to reach a key target. So you would check by using an AoE. If the Werner heals from the AoE, you can confirm that he is in counter stance and you can see here he gains the buff Ignore Guard. Even though he has that buff, in counter stance he doesn't get bonus skill range so his range is actually only 7. So you can just kind of leave him there if your units aren't in range. If he doesn't heal from the AoE, you can confirm that he is in attack stance and you can just kill him with your DPS. So I'll just kind of demonstrate what happens if you just randomly hit a counter Werner. You die. So try not to do that. And while we're here, I will also demonstrate that his repost stance condition, which is having to be away from friendly units within two blocks, is decided at the time of combat, not at the time of entering the stance. So you see here, I'll use Himiko to just push Werner into his teammate and then I will have T Jess try to attack Werner and as you can see here Werner does not counter attack so 
my opinion and i might be biased but i would advocate for infantry werner because assassin werner is mostly playing off trying to play off the fact that your opponent doesn't know what repost stance does assassin class having to run emb has lesser damage than infantry class and also doesn't have access to apex boots so you have lesser range so if you want an actual assassin that has higher damage ceiling you would choose to run infantry class but i suspect that assassin class werner might have more success in the initial weeks because some people might just not know what werner does and with that we've come to the end of the video i hope you've taken something away from this video and i'll see you in the next one